Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. Considering this is supposed to be a week of love with Valentine's Day, I've picked a couple of oracle decks that are related to love, so we're going to see what comes up. Typically these readings are for people that are struggling in love, okay? They're not usually for somebody that is happily in a relationship and, you know, that's just not the case. So what I want you to do is take what resonates and leave the rest. <laughs> True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Keep in mind this will not resonate with every single person. Use your common sense when deciphering this reading. If you're looking for inspiration, I have a group and a page, Soul Source Tarot. So you can, uh, I do a lot of inspiring quotes there. You're welcome to, to go there. Ooh, there it is. True love, this is a romance of the lifetime. But you need to have patience. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. They're really falling out. So I don't know what the hell is going on here, but we'll find out. This is the first reading that has happened like that. They want you to get your messages. You don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> I don't want patience for this. And that's why this card came out. It is. It is time for you to have some patience, okay? It is. It's time for you, or you've been really patient, and you're sick of it. I'm sick of being patient. That's the truth here. I feel like many of you have been through some sort of dilemma and now it's time for you to stop ignoring this dilemma. It's time for you to stop pretending in some area of your life. We're going to get a lot more, but there's been some family feuds, okay? There's been some kind of family feuds and I know this is an ongoing energy, but you know the cards, that things don't end overnight. Okay, so I feel like there's been some kind of feuds and now it's time for you to come out of this feud. All right, you've been waiting for the storm to be over and I think that now um, you may be turning away from something. Realizing that you're not going to concentrate on the loss, you know, there's no need to. You've been through some difficulty. There's been some sort of loss in your life and now it's time for you to really look forward instead of backwards don't concentrate on the loss okay if you continue to concentrate on the loss then that's where you're going to be all right i feel like many of you could have been dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius somebody who is very self-centered and conceited um maybe this person was ruthless this is a man or a woman um, somebody that wasn't really focused on a future or they weren't fo focused on fixing things. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who was giving you the silent treatment. You know, I just feel like there's a lack of, of, uh, growth in, with somebody. Okay. And you're still holding on to it. You're still holding on to this this um, fight. I think there's been some kind of argument, whatever, and you're not you're not able to let go of it yet. But I see, see that you're going to have to struggle through it. The worst is over. Okay, the worst is over. All you have to do is struggle through this. Master your emotions. Stop resisting this change. Look at it as a time, a new beginning, really. Okay, it feels like you you have to have a new perspective here. That ended for a reason. It wasn't meant for you. I think that something has ended and many of you are still holding on to it. It was just an illusion. I think there was some lies, okay? There was uh, some... Oh, they, somebody was keeping some secrets and now and then the secrets came out and they were very hurtful and now you're still holding on to that hurt 
when I see that if you were to open your eyes and look at things from a new perspective, it was actually a blessing even though it hurt, you know, this completion, this ending needed to happen. It did. It needed to happen because it, it really wasn't meant to be long term, okay? And now it's time for you to take action. Act now. Think later. Because unless you want to stay stuck, okay? Unless you want to stay stuck. I mean, it's completely up to you. I feel like many of you deserve more, okay? You deserve more. And it feels like you guys are refusing to consider a new approach when you need to. You're refusing to see that whoever this person was, they were they were spiteful. They were ruthless. They were only thinking about themselves. They didn't they weren't thinking about the outcome. They weren't thinking about how it was going to affect you. Okay? I feel like there was some illusions here you were being lied to by this person. And now you're refusing to let it go. You're re you're just bitter about it. It's like I'm I'm really upset over this. I'm really really upset. But you know the worst really is over. I feel like you've already hit rock bottom. Now you're still concentrating on the loss. It's over. You know that it's over, and it's time for you to take action. Even though it's a struggle, it's a struggle to take action. I feel like you have a choice here. It's decision making time. Do you want to stay stuck? Do you want to block any future love by concentrating on this person from the past or this person that was in your life that has caused you so much hurt? Now this can be a lover, this can be a child, can be somebody from your family because this is certainly family re related. I think that there's been some kind of family feud between you and another person that is impacting your love life. And now you're being called to take action. And the thing is, is that I think that many of you um, have a soulmate, but right now it's not not playing out because you're still stuck. You're focused. You're focused um, on the past. You're focused on not creating newness. Okay, there's a lack of drive. There's a lack of energy. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of excitement. There's a lack of adventure. There's a lack of courage. There's a lack of discipline. You know, there's the, the lack of, when you get reversals, it's the lack of, I mean, look at them all. I mean, there's a lack of, of wanting to move forward and that's within you. If you really want to move forward, you need to regain your focus. You need to regain your concentration. You need to take ownership. You need to relight your fire. You need to take action. You know, you do definitely need to speak up for yourself. You need to do the right thing for you, just like this person did. Put yourself first. That's what needs to happen. You need to really have a different outlook on this. Yeah, it ended, it hurt, but it's bringing you something better. It truly is. It's time to shed the past, but you have to be willing to do that. This is Gemini. This is Gemini. So you, it's really about you using your inner forces within to shed the past. Whatever happened was a lesson. It's over. You've already hit the worst. It's time to let yourself heal and move on. Okay? You have the power within you to move on. You have the resources. Okay? I see that you could be successful should you use them. Okay? You need to find the willingness and the passion within you to release the past. Don't hold on anymore. Stop crying about it. It's over. It's over. Don't let it bring you down another minute. You know, if whoever you were dealing with was only was only focused on everything but love. They weren't focused on love. They were focused on security and stability and sex and control and, you know, money. They weren't focused on love. You know, and I feel like now you, you know. Now a secret has been revealed. You know that they weren't focused on love. And that hurts. And it's hard to get over that. It's hard to see things from a new perspective when you've been hurt like that. But you have the resources within you to do it, to overcome it. You do. You know, this was, this was something that was written in the plan. It was. This was something that was written in the plan 
to get you ready for what was next, okay? I, I really feel like um, many of you guys have been in denial about, you know, you know that this had to happen, but you're denying that you're because it, it really hurts so much. You know, I feel like there's a new opportunity in love for you. There's a new opportunity being offered to you. There's a new gift, perhaps, that you could be receiving. But you you have to have the strength and the confidence and the courage to accept it. And it feels like it's time for you to really make this conscious change. Are you ready to make this conscious change from the past to the future? I mean, that's the question. Are you really ready? To free yourself from this past hurt, from this person who lied to you. You know, it, because if you keep staying stuck, then you there'll be no no new new foundation. It's time for you to build a new foundation, but you're you are hindering the the progress by not doing it. Okay, this is telling me that you're just, you can't quit, you can't quit, you can't stop thinking, you can't stop thinking this person is the one, or you can't stop thinking about it, you just can't. And, be, and you're not being realistic. Okay, there's unreal, un, you're being unrealistic here. The fact of the matter is, I see that you're reluctant to start with somebody new. You're reluctant, but if you did... You'd probably feel a lot of relief. Because it's time for you to start the healing process. It's time for you to forgive. It's time for you to remove these this hurt. It's time for the old wounds to actually mend. It's time for you to let go of this sorrow. And free yourself. And make this conscious change so that new opportunities can be accepted. I feel like there's a new opportunity in love for you. That whoever this person is that lied to you got you ready for. And now it's time to let that old notion of that person in the past. This is willing to shed the past. This is the death of an idea. This right here is being objective. Looking at things from a new perspective. You need to let the past die. I'm sorry. You know, because right now things are chaotic. Things are disorganized. You've lost your con concentration. You've lo lost your focus. And I think you're dealing with somebody in the past that was very flighty and they weren't a keeper. They were. It was impulsive. It was sexual. <laughs> you know, and it's time for you to use your mind and your heart. And be with somebody who is actually can offer you security. This person didn't offer you security. They weren't in it for the long haul. Now it's time for your happiness, don't you think? I feel like if you were to really, really shed this old and give this new opportunity and love a chance that you would be very, very happy. But you need to compromise and you need to communicate rather than not. Be open to communication. Be open to compromising. Be open to being together with another person. You know, if you want victory and success and love, you're going to have to really offer togetherness instead of holding it back. Okay, there's a, there's a feeling of... making progress okay you will make progress you will be successful with somebody in the future if you really really let go of the past okay this is success and this is success but you must let go of the past and really stop being bitter don't be bitter let bitterness go okay just do the right thing for yourself now at this time. Okay? Stop stalling. Don't stall another minute. I feel like you guys have been feeling, you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see what happens. Well, you're going to wait forever.
you are definitely being unrealistic with the past. This past is not coming back. This past has hurt you. This past has lied to you. And it's time for you to move on with faith. You have a new opportunity in front of you that could be very, very successful. Should you really offer your heart and let your heart heal? Let this person that is here that could come into your life could really help you. It's time for you to start a brand new journey with faith and trust. Take a risk with somebody new. Find your inner strength. I feel like there's new love that wants to come in or that you're thinking about. But you're so hurt from the past you just don't dare. And you're being called to take a risk. And move on. Move on. Do it right now. There will be victory and success in love if you truly drop the past. This is the romance of the lifetime. Do you want to throw it away? New love. Do you want to throw it away? Based on bitterness, hurt, lies. Love is patient and kind, always. Have patience. With yourself. It takes time to heal. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. I feel like for many of you, there's a new opportunity in love. Because you deserve it. You've waited long enough. Many of you have been patient. And that's why this new love is coming in. And it could lead to true love, victory, and success. Because you let go of the past. If you haven't let go of the past, this could happen if you do. You have to move forward. Whoever it is that lied to you and hurt you. That's over now. It's over. So I feel like for many of you there's a new opportunity that could be offered to you. That is very solid. A solid opportunity for commitment and true love. But you have to make a conscious change first. And free yourself consciously from this person who lied to you. So Gemini, I feel like it's up to you. It's in your hands. You have a new opportunity being presented to you. Whether you dare to take it or not, that's your call. Could lead to true love, victory, success, and a solid foundation. Talk to you later.